When migrants were blocking the road in Calais, in France, I wrote, just run the fuckers over. Ain't changing it. We should just fucking run them over. Send a lot of them back. Don't care where they come from, just send them. Send them all to Turkey. Because they're all coming through there. And Europe's got, in my belief, it is, Europe's got two problems. One, the EU, Brussels. Get rid of it. And the second one is like the, what you got? All these uh, migrants, so-called migrants, from the war in Syria. Thank you, dear. Coffee. Who are the people who spend their lives debating online? And how did the discourse become so polarized? Why do so many use the internet to threaten, harass, and stretch freedom of speech to its limits? And are they as angry in person as they are online? From world leaders to refugees, hundreds of millions of comments, tweets, and posts are left every day by people all over the world. These are the people behind the comments. Meet the internet warriors. It took me three years to get my wife here. Going through the correct channels, you know, paying the money. Have some photographs of my house, inside and out. My wage slips, six months. Bank statements, six months. All this, just so my wife can come to this country. It cost me about three, four thousand pounds, all in all. And she gets here for six months and then she's got to go home. Which is another reason I hate my government, the people in it. But she's here now. Six months. <laughs> and then she's got to go home. Then we have to do it all over again. Pay, 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 pay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> if people call me a racist, I, you know, obviously they're demonising me. I don't think it's racist to want to identify with your own race and to want to preserve it. That's not racist. A racist is someone who hates other races. I certainly don't hate other races. I identify with my own race. That's true. So this is a tweet. Um, sending children of different race to the same schools is a form of eugenics, encouraging them to mix and later to intermarry. Diversity is not something to celebrate. I mean, unless you want to celebrate your own ethnic decline and demise. I mean, is that something to celebrate? I don't think so. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody in their right mind would want to celebrate their own ethnic decline. It's madness, it's total madness. But that's mainstream. That's mainstream. Whoopee! 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 Har du fått på deg, du nå da? Hun der heter Sara. Har hatt oss siden hun var ni måneder. Så hun er mer eller mindre datteren min. For å si det sånn, jeg vil gi mitt eget liv for å berge hennes liv. Men jeg regner med at den som kommer til å se den videoen og høre meg sa det, kommer nok til å ønske meg død, ja. Bare vente og se. Ja, det er så mange tuller at det er folk rundt omkring, vet du. Ja, det er så mange tuller at det er folk rundt omkring, vet du. Ja. Da det ble meldt om dyreplageri på søver i Australia, kommenterte jeg. Hva har de søvene gjort for å fortjene denne ondskapen? Ingenting! Så stopp dyreplageriet mot dem nå! Det er min mors dag, egentlig. Men vi har blitt veldig gode venner. 
and I've become quite attached to her. In fact, she's my, my first serious relationship with a, with a, with a dog, <laughs> with any other animal other than a human. Had a few pretty serious relationships with other humans, of course, but um, my first serious relationship with a dog. I wrote a, a blog post uh, in defense of Anders Breivik, not in defense of what he did, which is indefensible, but um, I, I sympathize a lot with his, with his motivations, what motivated him, his, his sense of betrayal by, by his own government. Uh, I understand that because I, I, I feel the same sense of betrayal by, by my government, uh, that they betrayed us to this, you know, to mass immigration and, and this sort of diversity, uh, they call it. it. It's a betrayal. So I sympathize with that a lot. So I, I, I think I know what motivated him. Uh, you know, what he did was indefensible. But I understand why he did it. Mener at dersom Hitler hadde tatt av seg muslimer i steden for jødene, hadde vel verden vært bedre i dag, tror jeg. Tror jeg. Merk det. Er lov, er lov å drømme om det? Jo, det er lov til å drømme om en bedre verden, så absolutt. Er det det? Det er en gammel kommentar. Noen av kommentarene er veldig gamle. Og uh, han skal få denne, så han får lese om hva islamsk innvandring er. Det er ikke bare mennesker, skjønner du, men det er en ideologi på lik linje med nazi. Og jeg vet. Det har samme agenda som Hitler. De skal overta verden. Jeg vet ikke. Jo, jeg vet. Du dikke. Det er sosialistene sin feil. Som jeg skrev på statusen min, som jeg skrev for cirka en, en time siden. Sosialister vil ha båt, båtflyktninger inn i sine hjem. Ja, ja, vær sosialist, drep Norge. Det står på statusen min. Vær sosialist, drep Norge. Perfekt. Borgerkrig blir det uansett. Jeg er innvandrer. <laughs> Nei, du er mannen min. <laughs> ja, du er en innvandrer, men du er ikke terrorist. Nei. <تصفيق> انا انا اجيت بال2011 منو بسبب المشاكل اول ما بلشت المشاكل بسوريا ما بدنا نفوت بهالقصص، وانا في كثير من رفقاتي عالم فاتوا مع هون وفاتوا مع هون وراحوا يعني، هيدا اللي اختفوا، هيدا اللي ماتوا، هيدا. في هيدي انا منزلها على الفيسبوك، انا كتبتها، من ينتظر الديمقراطية عن طريق أمريكا كمان ينتظر دخول الجنة عن طريق الشيطان. هيدي إنه كمان إنه عجبتني فكرتها يعني، ونزلتها. أمريكا هي خراب العالم كله من وراء أمريكا، أنا برأيي الشخصي ما بعرف. Some protesters were demonstrating at a Trump rally I wrote, burrito, jalapeno, illegal backpacking. They come here disrespecting our flag. Traditions pretending lo they love America, bullshit. Uh, Evil Knievel uh, was one of my admirers. I seen him wearing a patriotic uh, jumpsuit and I thought that was cool. So I started wearing, started wearing uh, patriotic clothing also. No, if I want to speak my opinion, how? No, in terms of the Syrian regime, I don't like anyone to speak my opinion. No, he is just. If I want to speak against him, I will say, I will take him. And he disappeared, not that he went. I don't want to go back. 
انه بضل على الفيسبوك انا 24 على 24 ولا احضر اخبار وبشوف هيك شو عم بيصير على الفيسبوك واخبار المناطق عنا وبسوريا وهيك عن تلفزيون بس ما بحضر لانه ما بصدقهم كل وسائل الاعلام كلهم مشريين يعني Well, it represents uh, freedom and everything. Uh, you know, regardless of what some people might think. It represents uh, our country. Because a, a lot of men defended that flag and a lot of people uh, died from defending that flag also. Please come on, come on. <laughs> загружайся, загружайся, давай быстренько. И мама у меня с папой тоже такие же, как я. Мама тоже у меня в компьютере пишет комментарии. Ей 75 лет. Нас ожидает массированная атака либерастов по поводу всяких извращенцев. Будут продавливать педерастов во власть, в культуре их уже и так как грязи, чтобы эти уроды заполонили все и вся. Да, я считаю, что ЛГБТ, ну что вот люди с такими отклонениями, они действительно антиприродны, они отклонения от нормы. I've tweeted 174,000 times, like I didn't realize that it had gone that high. No, I'm never hateful because I believe that to hate something, you have to have loved it before. I wrote this tweet to the artist Lady Gaga. That bitch has really fucking pissed me off. Fuck you, you tired ass showgirl can't go back to Pi City where you belong. Yeah, it's harsh, but it was necessary for me to outlet my emotions. Можно я все-таки одно слово заменю, а? Ой, держите меня восьмеро. Я сейчас разве... разрыдаюсь. К нам педерасты не приедут из Европы, чтобы порочить балет «Лебединое озеро». Упала под стул. The things I'm most interested in discussing online is... Mainly pop culture, equality, and sex that I talk about with people. Sometimes it gets me into arguments, but it's not something that I care about because at the end of the day, it's just someone behind a computer screen. It's not going to really affect my life much. I need to have to be a really insecure person to be like upset about what someone says about you online. Another tweet I wrote, I hope ISIS kill David Cameron. I really couldn't stand David Cameron. Like, I wish we had a different prime minister here. He was an absolute twat. Yeah, I stand by that. Still do. It's 
talk because I'm voting Trump. Who are you voting? <laughs> I knew you were a good woman. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wait, you guys going to really have to block your ears for this one. I didn't know we got all these on there. <laughs> See? <laughs> all right. In another tweet about the U.S. election, I wrote, fuck you, Obama, you worthless motherfucker, and fuck that scumbag lying bitch Hillary. Trump is going to wipe your fucking names out of the U.S. history. Yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> I'm proud of that one, too. I, I think it's going to be a landslide, honestly. And hopefully if he is, then Hillary ends up in handcuffs in prison and where she belongs. Ah. Did you have a rough day? No, who's going to be president? Trump. Good girl. <laughs> Trump. It's a great night for Democrats. I listen, I, I, it, Hillary has won an impeccable campaign. She has the Obama oh, institution. Grass. She has all of the progressive base for the most part. Uh, she oh, I hope that bitch loses. Absolutely can't stomach her. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I hope we win. Just a few hours ago, we saw one of the greatest political upsets in American political history. Voters chose Donald Trump as the 45th president after many polls made Hillary Clinton the favorite. Did you shoot anything today? No, they're just dough. On this great day in America, the land of the free and the home of the brave, I'm in the woods hunting and loving my country and freedom. That was one of the things I wrote. Mitt Romney wrote something about, um, he said, best wishes for our duly elected president. May his victory speech be his guide in, in preserving the republic his aim. And I said, you're a real scumbag. Thanks for not helping Trump at all. Eat shit, you're a traitor scumbag. Sorry, that's just how I am. I was going to say, yeah, action do that. Till an article on IS commented that room forskning and would have come longer. Da kunde extrema muslimer fått sin egen planet. En du kunde kalla planeten Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Då kunde vi andra på jorden vara i fred. För att slika idioter. Då det muslimska brorskapet stilte till valg i Egypt så kommenterade jag. De är terrorister. De terroriserar människor. Och stöttar terrorisme. Och detta gör de i alla Guds namn. Det kan inte bli mer extremt. Nej, ja, akut i det tillfället så såg jag artikeln och så kom jag på en, en kommentar så passade. Så hade jag sett Planet of the Apes inte för länge sedan. Så då passade det väldigt bra. Jag blir väldigt ofta uppgitt över kommentarerna jag kommer över. Speciellt eh, med så mycket fördomar mot islam. Eh, alltså det är grejt med kritik, självklart. Men då man får vänta att få kritik tillbaka. Då någon kommenterade att vi måste förby bruken av nikab för det Norge är ett öppet samfunn, svarte jag. Personligen så syns jag det hörs rart ut och förby allt vi inte liker för att det fria och öppna samfunnet ska beskyttas. Da det var mye uro i Midtøsten, kommenterte jeg den oppførsel som folk viser i muslimske land, beviser at det var feil å avslutte kolonitiden. Den burde ha fortsatt for å holde muslimene under kontroll, for, for vi i vestlige land er mer sivilisert utgave av menneskeheten. Så får kolonitiden tilbake. Hmm. 
Det var lenge siden jeg skrev det. Jeg har ikke formulert akkurat på samme måten nå. Jeg jobber jo med en muslim, han er jo grei. Og jeg, og jeg har jo jobb selv, så jeg, er ikke noe, jeg har ikke noe problem med noen innvandring lenger. <laughs> Men jeg var kan det litt med harde i begynnelsen. Men du endrer deg jo hele veien etter hva som du... Som regel det så er veldig harde innvandringsmotstandere. Jeg har ikke innvandrere i nabolaget. Og når du får innvandrere i nabolaget, så ser du at det går jo bra jo. Det skjer jo ingenting forskjellig fra før. Så nå kjenner jeg jo til og med noen i får det er syd og taket. Så hvis jeg hadde møtt meg selv nå i diskusjonsforum, så hadde det blitt krangling mellom meg selv og min tidligere utgave. Merkelig, kjennes. Ting endrer seg.